YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil coming through with another um, clothing haul, man, clothing pickup. Um, so, hopefully y'all been checking out my previous content. I dropped a talk video. Um, I still got some sneaker reviews to actually drop, but you know what I mean? A lot of stuff I've been feeling lately with just like more so like talk videos because it's like, I mean, everybody, I mean, you know, I, obviously I'm going to still try to put out my sneaker reviews as far as like kicks that I, that's that's like, I feel like it's like slept on or whatever. To me, that would warrant like more of a purpose of a sneaker review. And obviously if I get a Jordan or something like that, I'll talk about it. You know what I mean? Especially the ones that was like slept on. You know what I mean? Like the Chlorophyll 3s, I just feel like was slept on while people, you know, go check that video out. I already broke down the reasons about that and why I think is. A significant kick and uh, it remind me of the green bean fives but anyway first thing first I've <clears throat> got the H&M and Uniglo today and I bought two items from two things from sneaker and two shirts from sneaker and stuff and I also got two things from Fever 21 so I just put those already inside of the H&M bag and that's basically it and last but not least, also got one thing from um, eBay, and that is this joint right here. Now, <clears throat> this is the throwback vintage like polar bear joint. This might be from 92 or 95, navy blue, size large, but it fits like a medium. Y'all know over time, you know, people wash shirts and it damn near shrink into a medium. So definitely happy to have that. I think I got that for like 15 or something like that or 12. Um, even before the whole Kith stuff, I was already like picking up on the Coca-Cola shirts. That particular campaign they had with the polar bears, I specifically like that one particularly. Um, it's other little ones that's here and there, you know, with the Coca-Cola. I don't want that plain one that you can find at like Walmart just with like the little faded. Like I don't want that. I want the vintage, vintage um, merch that they had back then because the designs look way better unless they drop these again you know what i mean that'll be nice but at this point in time the closest thing you could probably get to it is maybe an expensive kith version but anyway my two shirts from sneaker and stuff i end up getting here we go it's these joints right here now these are the acg t-shirts And these actually, I thought these were actually going to feel like regular t-shirts, but they actually almost feel like workout t-shirts. So, if I want to probably really do like some real life hiking, this will probably be the move as far as like shirts to wear. Because it is very lightweight. It's something I could definitely wear when the summer and spring come around. And obviously you see the words in the back say, we out there. And then up close, you got the little pyramid that says ACG Nike. And even though it says... It also has the uh, triangle on the back right below the text. So I ended up copying that for the low. Um, <clears throat> next up, so I actually got a different color from sneakers and stuff as well. The purple joint same thing these remind me of my agassiz that i got acg nike got the phoenix colorway with the black orange and purple I know if my light picking that up maybe i'm up a little too close here we go we out there fly flames to me man uh i've been watching a lot of smaller youtubers man it's like they need to they need to do more than just kicks, dude. Like do some clothing, man. Do some clothing too. No point of getting the kicks and then like your fit look like shit. You know what I mean? But that's probably a different video. From Forever 21. I end up copping this right here. And this is a jacket. I'm trying my best not to make it. Yeah. It's like that shimmery. It feel like it can uh, lightweight be like a rain jacket lightweight. 
Yeah, up close, it's just the red flannel with the red and black flannel with the white. Got more of a Chicago Bull esque like colorway. Definitely low key and everything. Fabric 21 Men. I got this for like seven bucks. Matter of fact, what's uh, yeah, 50% of 17. Look at that, 8.5, $8.50 versus $29.90. So definitely worth it. Definitely a steal. Forever 21 men don't sleep. And you don't got to be 21 just to fucking shop there neither. So uh, then looking up close, fellas, make sure it says Forever 21 men. Um, the ones that does not say Forever 21 men on the inside is most likely for women so most of our stuff is labeled men on the inside another thing i end up swooping up from forever 21 is this joint right here and i actually paid full price for this this was 22.90 and I already got some i got two more tricolor shirts like this you know um just to get that 90s vibe every brand probably made something like this from polo chaps uh which is a Chaps is a subsidiary or company under Polo, Ralph Lauren, um, but still damn near the same thing. Um, guess, um, who else? Tommy Hill figure, like they, they all made those tricolor shirts. And what I mean by tricolor is the three block colors on here. Um, me personally, I wanted to see if they gonna drop, I want them to drop a red, black and white one like this. Cause I already have one with like navy blue in it already. But I want to definitely cop because they had the red and green. I don't have a red and green one yet, so this is definitely a cop. And with Fever 21, when you actually see something that look good, it doesn't last for too long. But a little more into this shirt, <clears throat> obviously you can see that's a polo. And it's the normal three button fit. Long sleeve, so this is just something nice that I just, you know, I'm going to break out soon. Um... H&M end up copping this right here this is like five bucks this is just something real quick for the for the spring or the summer just an easy quick short sleeve t-shirt with the stripes the color is teal this would definitely probably go nice with those turbo green ones that's dropping you know what I mean just throw some black jeans on with it and you know like a sky blue wash button up over this jean button up and you know just just be fitted I don't like to be too matched up but um, I don't think this would match the turbo green Jordan ones that's dropping soon. Like, I don't, I don't feel like this color will exactly match it, obviously, because this is like more of a darker teal and that Jordan one, um, that Jordan one has more of a washed turbo green feel to it. And I think that's pretty raw too, man. Like, you know, some people are fan of it and some people not. I'm a fan of that whole vintage wash look, man, because it's like. I mean, it, it just it just flow better fashion wise. I mean, but to each his own. And you can't beat that five bucks for that. It's funny that because I actually got a thermo long sleeve that looked exactly like this, but they actually copped from uh, somewhere else for way cheaper. But now I actually since I got that, I thought about that, and then I just cop this like, hey, just something easy for the spring and the summer, and maybe into the fall. <clears throat> and last but not least for my H&M pickup, I end up copping this joint right here. This is $12.99, size small. You can't go wrong with getting a cream sweater. Definitely fly, definitely flames. Hopefully my camera is actually picking up the creamness of it. This is not just like all white. This is more of an off-white like color, more along that eggnog color. This will probably go smooth. It'll probably just be too much white though. This will probably go smooth with those... Uh, eggnog 11s that just came out but it's like shit man you might as well pick up on um on these deals like these new year deals that's what I call them and it happened as soon as the uh, Christmas is over and the new year start coming in the sales start coming around and like heavy knitwear like this that's originally what how much was the regular price $24.99 some stores charge more than this just for this stuff man so yeah I'm I'm really big off into the whole putting the fits together and all that stuff man with the kicks because again it's better to have 
the right kind of fist go together with the kicks. So, moving on, actually end up budging, y'all. I end up, remember when I said on my talk video um, a few days, a few weeks ago about the whole kid stuff? And I really wasn't feeling a call, Sesame Street collab, all like that. I found the shirt I like. So, um, it's, 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 I feel like a grown man, adult grown man can wear it. I'm not about to wear some with the cookie monster and all that. Teach his own. You know what I mean? Hate it if you want. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. I'm just saying, hey, this is what I do. And I feel like this is flames right here. They didn't do it. They didn't overdo it. I feel like this is nice and subtle. This is something I would wear uh, preferably. Um, price on this, uh, we looking at twelve sixty five. Um, regular price on this, it's not too much of a difference because the regular price is fourteen ninety. But once you actually got up to a hundred dollars worth of stuff, you got twenty percent off or something like that. So I was like five dollars away from a hundred dollars or something like that. So I would practically be getting some extra for free where I was like $90 or $90 and then I just needed 10 more dollars to stack up and bring me back down for the free shipping. But anyway, so this is a size medium. This actually looks like a size medium. I can't wait to put this on because sometimes Uniglo shirts, you know, I think it's based out of Japan or something like that. Their fit and their cuts is a little bit more slim. To, to our American size uh, cuts and everything. So I'm happy they actually have this. It looks like a medium and it looked like it might be on a lightweight large side too. So I'm happy I got this joint though, man. But anyway, enough of my talking. Up close, you got the cost X's at the bottom. Usually he put the X's on, on the uh, character's eyes and most importantly, on the back, he actually drew up the Sesame Street team. And I think this look flames. This will look hard, too, if it actually glowed in the dark. Now, they also got a gray one like this as well. They got a sweater like this, and they got a t-shirt like this. So, I feel like these is definitely flames. And, again, it's more subtle. Yeah, I grew up off Sesame Street and all that stuff, though, man. But it's like one of the things where it's like a thin line when you bringing back something from your childhood. You know what I mean? And, and still trying to, like, wear it now. Like, is it, it depends on how the design hit and if it's too much and if it's just enough. You know what I mean? So this is just enough for me. You know what I mean? Even if, and it's not just because it's on the back neither. Like, they could have actually put this on the front, and I still would have wore this. Um, but, you know, fly, flames, all that shit. Crazy. So, and the quality is second to none with, with Uniglow. Another one. Regular price is $29.90. $21.15 is what I paid. And uh, it's basically the same thing. So uh, this is the fleece version or the sweatshirt version. I definitely need to get this, especially in the black. Y'all know how hard it is to come up on like a black nowadays. See, the white sweatshirt is easier to find, you know, because people don't want to be bothered with white because, you know, white get dirty easy. But um, this, the two eyes on it. Now, this is also embroidered, too, I will say. So that's pretty slick. That's not screen printed. Same thing with the other one too. It's screen printed for the back, but the X's are embroidered on the front. This is a size medium, and it looks like it might be an actual medium. Then on the back, you got the screen print. It's the same image as the sweat as the T-shirt over there. So this is the Cause Sesame Street Unigo Unigo collab. Definitely fly. Definitely flames. With me, I didn't want it too much. I mean, I was like, damn. I'm actually going to pass up on the call Sesame Street stuff. It's really all childish to me. But I had to go through there one more time to see if I actually find something that I like. This is those them two items that I like out the whole collection, at least the ones that was available. So, yeah. So, I feel like it's cool enough to rock, for an older person to rock. And last but not least, I got three colors of these. This is the first color. Going with the with the mocha, with the mocha cardigan. Going for $16.90. That's what I paid after the discount. Regular price is $49.90. Damn. Damn. That's a hell of a steal, y'all. 
That's a hell of a steal. ASOS, Uniglow, like, y'all need to hit them up. So, um, I, I particularly got this. This I, I call this the Mocha Brown. I call this the Mocha. So when I do get my Mocha 3s, these are definitely going to fly with it. Also call this the Old Man Brown or the Doodoo -doo Brown, man. Definitely fly. Definitely flames. All them kiddos sleeping on brown. The real, the real dudes know how to make. If you got some style, you know how to make make this work, man. So that doodoo -doo brown goes in. That mocha brown goes in, and uh, it's a no brainer if you already got the mocha three. So next up, got the red joint right here. Y'all know me, man. Red is my favorite color. Crazy Fly Flames. Um, this was like, I wanted to get this just because I didn't know, you know, I didn't want to have any regrets. At first, I was just going to get my brown one and my cream when I got down here. But I was like, no, I'm going to get the red one too. Just to, just to see what it's like. You know what I mean? This dude looked like it's, you know, from the pictures, it looked like it was of high quality. The reviews on it was wasn't wasn't terrible or nothing um so but in hand these cardigans do feel of high quality they actually you know they actually feel thick they got the cable knit all on it so this is something that like you know what i mean your aunt your aunt how y'all say it aunt or aunt i say aunt you know something that that family member uh, a family member buy you you know grandma or something from macy's you know what i mean like that that expensive joint you already know <laughs> That, that sweater that lasts them there for a lifetime. So yeah, this is the red version. And I'm gonna get on this cream one right here. And also too, man, uh, I hope, you know, hopefully this don't too much bother y'all these like little flaps or whatever. Um, they will sit down when you put the cardigan actually on onto your body. So, you know, it's not nothing that's just gonna be like getting on your nerves. So, yeah, now this the cream one. Same thing, same thing, and everything. Now two of those, the brown and the red one is actually a size medium, and this is a size large. The size large still fits fine, but see these supposed to kind of be a little bit more oversized. I highly suggest you do not wear a tight cardigan. It looks bad. It looks terrible because a cardigan actually supposed to be. Sometimes they suggest that you buy a cardigan a whole size up from your regular size just so you can have more like that loose fit because that's the way they actually technically supposed to fit on you so um, these already came a little bit more loose fit so um, this wasn't bad I actually seen this in the mirror for this to be a large and for me to get those mediums um, I feel like it's a win anyway they were just out of the size medium so I want to actually cop this large because you know I ain't want to miss out <laughs> Because this was the first color I actually seen was the, the, the cream one. And the cream one was selling out way quicker, obviously, because you can do more with it. It's a popular color. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the poor brown ones was just sitting up there, man. <laughs> but, uh, and then the red ones too. But the cream one, you could do, obviously, get crazy versatile with it. And another thing too, man, actually was just tripping out. I'm like, I already got one like this. But. This one is actually better than my current one. My current one is not cable knit. My current one was from H&M, and that's not the down H&M or anything. I know some YouTubers like to shit on H&M. I mean, they're not the best, best of all time, but it's like, if you if you know what you're getting and what you, you know, if you know how to shop and you know what you're picking up, I mean, you shouldn't really have no big deals with them. So, anyway, I'm coming up almost on that 20-minute mark, so... Rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Neil Goodfella. Goodfella Neil coming through with another clothing haul. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Stay tuned to my videos. I got more talk videos on the way. Some more sneaker review videos on the way. And uh, I got another small clothing haul on the way uh, from a popular brand. So brand name boy stand up. Coming through on the next video. Peace.